We want to thank everyone for joining us here for the quarterfinal postgame press conference of the 2023 CUSA Basketball Championships presented by Total Care. We're joined by North Texas head coach Grant McCaslin and forward Aaron Scott. We'll make sure attending media here in Frisco have the ability to ask their questions first, and then we'll move to our Zoom audience if there are any questions there. We ask that you please remain on mute until called upon, and please utilize the raised hand function to let us know if you have a question for either our head coach or our student athlete. We will begin with an opening statement from North Texas <coughs> head coach Grant McCaslin before opening it up to the room for questions. Coach, when you're ready. Yeah, we've, we've got a lot of respect for La Tech. I mean, we've been in a lot of battles over the years. Um, just a tough physical team and obviously had an overtime game last night. And, uh, you know, I thought our defense was tremendous. Um, Keiston Willis and uh, Isaiah Crawford are two guys that can really put pressure on you. And we felt like limiting their opportunities would be how we win the game. And and it just took a team effort, and that's what it's about for us is finding ways to win games on the defensive end. And I thought we shot it well. I thought we shared it well and uh, limit some turnovers, and we had a pretty good game. Thank you. We'll go ahead and open it up to the room for questions. Coach, was this, you seem to be peaking at the right time. You played well at the end of the regular season. You had a really good performance tonight. Do you feel like your team is heading in the right direction as you get into the most critical time of the year? Yeah, I mean, when you're um, – I think we have a lot of depth and talent, and we haven't been able to actually utilize it all just because of injuries and other things, and guys like Aaron Scott who's sitting next to me. I mean, if you saw the amount of time he's put in and working and getting better, man, he's really – I mean, I'll, I'll walk through the super pit and Aaron's in there. So that's what makes this team great is they love each other and they work really hard, and they're committed to trying to figure out ways to put themselves in the best position. So um, guys have been working hard, and it's fun to see everybody healthy and playing well. And then a question for you, Aaron. I mean, career high night in points with 19. Just how are you feeling out there tonight? And why was uh, I was just very confident. My teammates was confident in me. My coach was confident. And you know, I just kept shooting, and it was falling. What went into the defensive performance tonight, Coach, just with the way you guys played across the board? Yeah, well, one, you, you can't let him get close to the rim with Isaiah. I mean, he's such a threat on all three levels. He can make threes, he can make mid-range shots, and he can get to the rim and put pressure on the free throw line. Uh, so just how do you figure out a way to keep him farther away from the basket, make his touches tough, don't let him catch it in rhythm. And I thought Tyree and A. Scott, man, those two guys were really good at being physical and playing without fouling. It looked like you, you were trying to run off of rebounds. Is that to, you know, based on because you knew their legs were tired or something? Or is that just what something you saw? I mean, I think everybody likes to do that, but TP. So, uh, no, these guys, these guys know that if we could get some advantages based off of them having a play, we, we felt like that we needed to attack the rim and try to go get twos. I mean, I think we had like four dunks we missed, so it would have been nice if we would have made a few of them. But um, we'll show that on film. But, no, our guys are starting to see that the defense can lead to offense, and we did want to take advantage of that today. Aaron, you guys just had such a great performance all the way around offensively. Did you guys just find a rhythm? What went into uh, I mean, we had a game team? plan and we executed it, offense and defense. What was that game plan offensively? That you uh, offensively, just get certain people in ball screens and just move well off the ball. And we know they switch a lot, so we try to take advantage of the switches. You played, so many guys contributed tonight. Did you just have that great balance across the board? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a balance. <laughs> Coach, I have a question. How is preparing for this game different, not knowing your opponent until yesterday after they played? Yeah, well, uh, good thing is we've played in enough of these tournaments and we've got a great staff, so you prepare for both of them. <laughs> and then they did have some similarities, so in practices we were able to, you know, like handle the pressure, playing against pressure, playing against the way they guard ball screens. So we're thankful because we were able to practice some things that both teams did well. Um, but, you know, these guys have played in 
games where you only have one day prep, even though you know on a Saturday you're playing somebody on Thursday, you don't really prepare for the Saturday team. So we're used to the one day prep. These guys are really dialed in to what it takes to win. And our defense is pretty interchangeable depending on the team. It's all got the same principles. So you just really try to focus on your principles and get better. Can you give us some insight on how you're preparing for a 2.30 tip tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we um, the blessing with this year's team, as opposed to last year, I mean, we really had a limited number of guys we were playing. And then Reuben Jones got hurt in that game, and that really put us behind. This team, we were able to rest some guys tonight, and we've got a full roster. It feels like everybody's healthy. You know, Jaden Martinez hadn't been playing. He got out there in the mix. Obviously, Kai had missed that last regular season game, and he was back out there. It looked like he was at full speed. So, I like our depth. and. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just getting sleep and trying to make sure you can rest your body so you can be at your best. You guys got behind a little bit earlier, but then you guys went on a run and you hit that early three. Did that really kind of help establish you guys just the way you made that run early? Oh, uh, well, you know, you just got to keep playing through mistakes, keep playing through runs. You know, you just got to always keep playing. And, Coach, uh, tonight's win broke the single season program history for win record. Um, just what does that mean through the program? Yeah, well, we have it in the locker room on the wall, so these guys walk it by it every day. So, I mean, I'd say they had it pegged. Um, but really, it's just about winning the next game and trying to be at your best. And they know that we've got a goal that we haven't attained yet. And uh, it'll be something great for these guys to talk about after the season. But right now, it really didn't have any significance. And then, of course, you guys get looks like UAB tomorrow in the semifinals. You got some great games with those guys in the past. We're just looking forward to that. What do you, how do you see that game? Yeah, I mean, that double overtime game at our place uh, in conference play was one of the best games I've been a part of. And, you know, those guys are physical and they have scoring at a lot of different positions. And um, we've had some great games against them. So we anticipate nothing but our best it's going to take to to win tomorrow. Uh, do you have any, any thoughts about the crowd? It seemed like it was a pretty good North Texas crowd. <laughs> You're talking to me or me, it felt like a home game. So I appreciate all the fans coming out. You know, it's not that far from a school, so we do have an advantage. So yeah, it did feel like a home game for sure. Yeah, I, it was remarkable. I wish they were in front of us. It's a little bit hard. Everybody's mm -hmm. behind you, but it's really a, a unique opportunity for us, and we're thankful for the Mean Green faithful showing up. It really was it made a big difference. We'll go with two more. Aaron, how are the talks in the locker room preparing for, you know, the next game in the tournament? Uh, well, you know, we just try to not get too ahead of ourselves and focus on the next game, like you said, you know. And we just got to lock into the scout, lock into a game plan, and then that's really all we can do. Last question. Coach, it seems like 19 turnovers were the only blemish on today's box score. How do you clean that up against UAB tomorrow? Man, we're going to have to, and that's a key to playing against them, especially with their ability to change defenses. You know, I thought early in the game we had a few maybe just jitter turnovers where we would fumbled the ball on pretty good passes, but down the stretch it, we, it, it became a, a problem. And uh, we got a little loose with the basketball, and our guys – understand that that's not going to that's not going to work against UAB. I mean, you can't turn the ball over cuz they'll dunk it and it'll be over with on the other end. So, we'll have to improve there before tomorrow. All right, thank you both so much for your time. Appreciate it. Congratulations and good luck tomorrow. Thank you all. Thank you all.